For the first method, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once we're on it, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Once you've done that, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash release and click on enter. Once we do that, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash renew and click on enter. Once we do that, we're going to type in netsh space winsoc space reset and click on enter. It's going to say restart the computer, but don't restart your computer yet till you complete all the other methods in this video. For the second method, we're going to head over to search and type in services.msc and click on enter. Once we're on it, we're going to click on any service and click on D on our keyboard. Then we're going to scroll down until we find DNS client. You want to right click on it and then click on refresh. Once it's refreshed, you want to make sure that it says running next to it. And the startup type is automatic trigger start. If it does not say that, you want to right click on it, click on properties, and it should tell you to start right here. And then change the startup type to automatic and then click on OK. Once you do that, you want to right click on it again and then click on refresh again. For the next method, we're going to head over to search and type in proxy settings. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to make sure that automatically detect settings is turned off. For the next method, we're going to head over to search and type in view network connections. Once you're on this, it might be saying either Ethernet or Wi-Fi for you. No matter which one it says, we're going to double click on it and then click on properties. And then we're going to click on Internet Protocol version 4. And then make sure that use the following DNS server address is ticked. We're going to make the first line 8888 and we're going to make the second line 8844 and click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to expand network adapters and then you'll either be using an Ethernet cable or you're on wireless. If you're on an Ethernet cable, it might say Realtek, like how it says that for me. But if you're on wireless, I'm going to put something on screen right now. It's going to say something similar to that. Once you find it, we're going to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on driver and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has been installed, we're going to go back and click on Browse My Computer for Drivers and then click on Let Me Pick from a List. Then you want to install the second one that comes up. Click on Next and install that. For the last step, you want to head over to Chrome and then you want to type in this link which will be in the description below which will take you to the Clear Browsing Data tab. You want to head over to the Advanced tab and then select Time Range All Time and then you want to highlight everything here. Make sure that everything here is selected and click on Clear Data. Once you do this, you want to restart your computer. Make sure you click on Restart. Don't shut down, click on Restart and the problem should be fixed.